Welcome to Ending with a Hymn. We close this day by reflecting upon a hymn. Today's has been chosen by Jenny Coppin, Immortal, Invisible, God Only Wise. This very popular hymn is of Scottish origin, the work of an Aberdonian. The hymn is based on the first letter of Paul to Timothy, chapter 1, verse 17. Now unto the King, eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be honour and glory for ever and ever. Amen. The hymn is essentially one of praise to God as creator of the universe, the invisible God whose works in nature proclaim his glory and majesty, his goodness and love. He is the giver of life to all creation, the true life of all. But the special emphasis of the hymn is on light. God is said to dwell in light inaccessible, an echo of Psalm 104, verse 2. Who coverest thyself with light as with a garment. God works silent as light. And in the final stanza, God is the pure father of light, light before which the angels veil their faces. So our failure to see God is not due to the lack of light, but rather to the excess of it. Tis only the splendour of light hideth thee. Walter Chalmers Smith was a well-known Presbyterian divine who held charges in London, Glasgow and Edinburgh. He was honoured by being elected moderator of the Free Church of Scotland in its Jubilee year, 1893. Among his many published works was Hymns of Christ and the Christian Life, 1876, from which the present hymn is taken. The tune, St Denio, is a Welsh folk melody known in Wales as Joanna. Our reading this evening is from the book of Job, chapter 38, verses 1 to 18. The Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Who is this that darkeneth counsel by words without knowledge? Gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee, and answer thou me. Where wast thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Declare, if thou hast understanding. Who hath laid the measures thereof, if thou knowest? Or who hath stretched the line upon it? Whereupon are the foundations thereof fastened? Or who laid the cornerstone thereof? When the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of God shouted for joy? Or who shut up the sea with doors when it brake forth, as if it had issued out of the womb? When I made the cloud the garment thereof, and thick darkness a swaddling band for it, and break up for it my decreed place, and set bars and doors, and said, Hitherto shalt thou come, but no further, and here shall thy proud waves be stayed. Hast thou commanded the morning since thy days, and caused the dayspring to know his place? that it might take hold of the ends of the earth, that the wicked might be shaken out of it. It is turned as clay to the seal, and they stand as a garment. 
and from the wicked their light is withholden, and the high arm shall be broken. Hast thou entered into the springs of the sea, or hast thou walked in the search of the depth? Have the gates of death been opened unto thee, or hast thou seen the doors of the shadow of death? Hast thou perceived the breadth of the earth? Declare if thou knowest it all. Thanks be to God. my God, most merciful, most secret, most present, most constant, yet changing all things, never new and never old, ever in action, yet ever quiet, creating, upholding and perfecting all, who has anything but thy gift. Or what can any man say when he speaketh of thee? Yet have mercy upon us, O Lord, that we may speak unto thee and praise thy name. Amen. 